After the safety checks have been performed, position the patient supine on the scanner table with their head on a pillow. Give the patient an emergency buzzer and provide headphones to protect the patient's ears. Place a body coil across the patient's pelvic area from the iliac crests downwards. Secure the coil Move the patient into the scanner and centre the laser beam localiser to the middle of the coil. Move the patient fully into the scanner, making sure they're calm and comfortable before leaving the room. Once in the control room, select the correct patient details from the browser or type in the details manually. It's very important to get the details right, including the correct patient weight, so that the SAR, or specific absorption rate, can be calculated accurately. Register the patient as lying head first and supine. Select the correct protocol according to your hospital and radiologist guidelines. To start, run a localizer sequence in three planes. Now plan your first sequence, which is usually a high resolution T2 sagittal of the pelvis. On the coronal localizer, align the central slice to the midline of the body through the symphysis pubis. And again, align your central slice to the midline in the axial plane. When planning on the sagittal localizer, it's very important to make sure that the entire soft tissue of the buttock is included in the field of view. Saturation bands above and in front of the field of view will reduce artifact from bowel motion and breathing. The next sequence is often a fat saturated T2 sagittal. You can copy your planning from the previous sequence. Check that the planning and coverage is again sufficient and apply. Once your first sagittal sequence is complete, you can plan a high resolution T2 axial fat sat. Slices should run perpendicular to the anal canal. Once again, it's very important to cover from the mid rectum right down to the skin surface of the buttock as fistulae can track through the tissues to open through the skin. Check your planning is straight and centred in the coronal plane. And again in the axial plane. And apply. Now plan a high resolution T2 coronal fat sat sequence. This time your slices will run parallel to the anal canal. And again cover the skin surface of the buttock. Straighten the other planes. and make sure your coils are turned on. Now review your images. This is a T2 sagittal image where fluids and fat appear bright. This particular study clearly visualizes the perianal fistula, beginning from the anal canal and tracking to the surface of the skin. This is a T2 fat saturated sagittal image where fluids appear bright and fat is dark. In T2 fat saturated sequences, fistula tracks are better visualized due to the nullified signal of fat.
This is a T2 fat saturated egg seal. This view of the anal canal is one of the most important sequences in fistula imaging. In this egg seal image you can track the fistula from the anal sphincters down to the subcutaneous tissue. Lastly, this is a T2 fat saturated coronal image. In this coronal, the fistula is again clearly seen, tracking from the anal sphincters through to the subcutaneous tissue.